We have a little something for Tara. You want to come on up here? So she, the queen she's the queen. She's got So this is Tara and Sal, official queen of Sheba. coming out experience or your decision to transition? I knew I was different. As a boy, throughout my years of growing up, five, six, seven, they always said I looked like a little girl. When people tell you that, you know, not that it went to my head, but you know, then when I got into school, I started getting God, young boys were saying, oh, you look like a girl, you look like a girl. And then girls would snirk their nose up at me and, I didn't look like no girl. I mean, I you, I have pictures of me as a young man, but I had feminine features, and I that some people accepted that, and some people just didn't know how to deal with it. I was blessed to have some cousins. My first cousin on my father's side, his sister, daughter, which was gay, and she was film. She brought me out. I have to honestly say, mm -hmm. there was gay people always in our family. My family is full of gay women, mm -hmm. full of gay women, from studs to film. Okay. But there were gay women throughout my life, and it did make me feel comfortable when my first cousin told me about uh, the gay lifestyle. And like I, I just felt like there was nothing to be wrong with me putting on makeup and putting on a dress, but... It was a lot wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> we all know you're Tyra now, mm -hmm. but when I met you when I was a teenager, and you were not quite a teenager, and when you took me under your wings, we knew you as Vicky. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me a little bit about how how Tyra, I'm, I'm sorry, how Vicky became Tyra? In 1972, I was in a car accident by Yellow Cab. Uh, he had a passenger in the back seat. When he picked me up, I wasn't supposed to be picked up until he got rid of that passenger in the back seat. And um, he had me get in the front seat, trying to make the extra money. 1972, uh, he hit a street pole down, and it split the top of the cab, and my face went through the windshield. Mm. And um, I had Dan Congles, Congles and Congles. His father was... Um, Michael Congos. The law firm? Law firm. Mm -hmm. And when I was confronted, when I was introduced to him, he asked me, because every time I went in for conference with him to be interview my case, I went in as a woman. And he said, is this the way you're going to come in? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, you know, this is me. And I thought he was going to really drop my case, but he said, I'm going to take you on, but I'm going to help you out. He said, do you have a doctor? I said, no, I, haven't, I don't have a position. And I didn't because I was getting my medical hormones underground, the worst thing to ever oh. do. And a lot of kids was doing it then. You know, we didn't have doctors. We couldn't afford to go to no doctors to get hormone pills. We were scared anyway, you know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, baby, uh, he gave me a doctor. The South seeing for both cases, for my injury and my lifestyle. At that time, I was working as a woman. And uh, he told me, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have to fight the state of Wisconsin. This was in 1973. And by 1974, we've, we fought the state of Wisconsin for me to have a legal name change first and a sex change later because I was working as a woman. And so the name changed from Vicky to Tyra. Well, was that through that happened? process of the, uh, me going to court for the yellow cab accident, I thank God for y'all, both of y'all. I really do. Not just me. We all do, baby. You see the problems that all girls have. Mm -hmm. They come in here, and then you not just see us. You see other LGBT people that come in here. I mean, we're fighting a war out here, mm -hmm. but y'all helping us win it. Y'all telling us to stand strong, and I appreciate that so much, right? You know, and one of the reasons why we wanted to honor you is because, you know, you've helped in that fight, you know, from yeah, wow. giving shelter to some, some of the young ladies who had been put out or who didn't have places uh, to live, um, you know, just the general support that you've given over the years. 
you know, to not only the Sheba program, but to lots of young individuals yeah. throughout the community. And even since I've known you as a, you know, as a young one, you know, you're reaching out and yeah. taking people under their wing. You know, I try to help people, baby. And uh, just thank God that there's people like you and this organization to help many other people because we need it out here. It's very, very, very dark out there. And when we come here, we're walking in the light. And I have to say thank you for that. You give me support. You give all the other girls support. And you're always there. This organization is always there for anyone that knocks or ring that doorbell. And I, we all, for me and all the rest of us, thank you, baby. And God bless you. God bless you so much.